An upswing in economic optimism is boosting President Obama in a new Wall Street Journal NBC News poll. Good morning. Welcome to the News Hub. I'm Rolf Winkler. Right away, we have Neil King in Washington to join us, that, who has the results of this poll. Neil, good morning. Good morning, Rolf. Now, so Obama is, has extended his lead. What's it up to, say, versus last month? Last month, he's basically gained by two percentage points. He's now 45, 40, sorry, 50, 44 among registered voters, 50, 45 among likely voters. Now that we're moving to that metric is a, is a more accurate one. One thing that was very interesting about uh, this, this particular poll, of course, we're going to talk a little bit later about Mitt Romney's 47 percent comments, but the only area where Mitt Romney by income category, where Mitt Ma Romney leads among Obama is, is voters that make $30,000 to $50,000 a year. That's pretty ironic, isn't it? It is ironic. It's also, and we can talk about this later, but that it happens to be a segment of the income bracket that uh, doesn't pay taxes by a fair slice. Um, you know, what was more striking, really, if you look at, uh, at the other end, is that he's losing support among people who households that make over 100000 households that make over 75000 and in many ways, this poll shows how Obama is starting at the moment to recreate very much the kind of coalition that he had in 2008, which is college graduates, higher income earners, women, of course, big uh, you know, gap among Hispanics and African Americans. And what Romney is not doing at this moment is eating into uh, Obama's turf nearly in the way that he's going to need to pretty rapidly if he hopes to win this. Mm -hmm. And another interesting number that came out of this poll you, you mentioned in your story is who is better prepared to run the country what what is what does the poll say about that well that was i think the most shocking uh, finding in its own right first the question was of course you know are you better off now than you were four years ago and for the most part that was sort of a wash about half and half said they were or they weren't or it made no difference then the question was who do you think is better prepared to lead the country over the next four years only 36 percent of all voters said Mitt romney uh, 47 percent, there's a 47 percent number, said Barack Obama. Uh, you look at it among independents and it drops down to just about a quarter of all independent voters who think that Romney is the better prepared to lead for the next four years. That's a big hole to dig out of. Mm -hmm. Now, meanwhile, for President Obama, he could face some, some challenges on foreign policy also in this poll? Well, the thing that was interesting there, he definitely took a hit on his approval rating for handling of foreign policy. This poll came just on the wake of the unrest in Libya and in Egypt. So it seems that the electorate was a little bit, you know, unimpressed by his handling of that. On the other hand, we also asked later in the poll, who do you think uh, is better prepared to be commander in chief? And he still has, I think, an eight percentage point advantage over Mitt Romney on that uh, question. So it's not as if People are moving in mass thinking that uh, Romney would be better on that count. Jumping back to Mitt Romney's controversial comments uh, that we were all, all talking about a lot yesterday, those came out, I guess, too late to have any impact on this particular poll? Yeah, this poll came out of the field uh, on Sunday night, uh, so certainly came before that. We are doing another national poll in two weeks that will be an even bigger one, and I'm sure that we'll get some feeling for uh, how these remarks might have rippled through. Uh, among voters. Okay, now talk to us about, did we get any impact, any, any data regionally or in particular swing states from this Yeah, point? we do. I mean, we have to be mindful that we're talking about a 900 person poll. So when you start, uh, you know, dicing these things up too finely, it gets a little bit dubious. But that said, what was really interesting is um, the only area of the country, if you divide the country into four segments, Northeast, Midwest, South and West, the only area of the country that Romney was winning in, which is the South, which for the most part he owns anyway, except for North Carolina and Florida, for instance, all the other areas of the country, Obama is leading by well over 50 percent. And those, are, of course, are the areas of the country where the truly contested states are. And he also has a wider margin among just the swing states that we uh, pulled out and looked at that. So that also magnifies at the moment the challenge that Romney faces, not just nationally, because it, of course, isn't a national election, but in the states that really decide who becomes mm -hmm. president next year. And of course, I mentioned at the top of this segment that one of the things that maybe is driving some of the boost for President Obama is an upswing in economic optimism. You know, I think a lot of people are going to find that kind of hard to believe. There are 23 million people that are unemployed or underemployed, that employment unemployment rate is at the, its highest level that any president has faced since, you know, uh, basically FDR. And yet there is this upswing on is the country going to be better 
uh, a year from now than it is now. A sizable plurality uh, think that it will. Only 18% think the economy will be worse a year from now. You get kind of the sense that, if nothing else, people are tired of being pessimistic and, and they want to just believe that things are going to get better and they think that there are signs that there are. Also a large plurality said they think the economy is recovering right now. So there is a sentiment out there which is very beneficial for Obama, of course, that the country is turning around at a time when Romney is very much wanting to base his campaign on the sourness of the economy and the idea that he's the better economic steward.